Cheersmag.com. The Demeter, on charter from Romania to London. Shipping private crates. Contents unknown. Out at sea with no land in sight. This here is Clemens. He's a doctor. You dress like a learned man. University of Cambridge. I know my way around the boat. Our charter has agreed to pay a bonus for timely arrival in London. Let me show you the ship. This here is Huckleberry. We don't come with like this to give the yours clear. To me, it's a fine boat, no doubt. the animals. All the livestock? This looks like a bite. Search the ship. Everywhere. Evil is on board. Powerful evil. of that bloody thing. I want to kill the cursed thing. He is on this ship. Which means that we will never leave it. The devil is real. May God have mercy on us all. This to be the scariest depiction of Dracula ever. There's something potent about that mythology. Everyone knows fear, and I think Dracula represents that. This chapter of Bram Stoker's Dracula hasn't been told. What actually happened on the ship that transported Dracula from the port of Varna to England is by itself just fascinating. <laughs> Dracula is trying to find more people, more blood, a better place to feed. This looks like a bite. What better place than the huge city of London? Search the ship everywhere. It's monster time when the lights go out. I really love this alien style story set on the ocean in 1897 and with Dracula instead of the alien monster. It was just all the elements were really exciting. He is here. There's no way off this ship and that evil is lurking right there. We have get to experience this extreme emotion of fear, but safely. May God have mercy on us all. He's the perfect monster. You look at the images and <laughs> it's just magic, man. It's magic. His name is Dracula. And I want to kill the cursed thing. We were just looking for a great actor to portray Clemens. You dress like a learned man. University of Cambridge. I know my way around the boat. Corey is very engaged. He's thinking all the time. It really felt like he could portray a charismatic character and be a lead. You realize how hard it is and how in shape these guys must have been. <laughs> Get knocked over and knocked down, and water's like literally in your boot. <laughs> the great part is that you look at the images and <laughs> it's just magic, man. It's magic. He's coming! 
the Demeter, out at sea with no land in sight. This story takes place on this merchant ship, the Demeter. We started our voyage doing the interiors of the ship in Berlin. It's a fantastic studio. We had one set, it was on rockers. It went back and forth. <laughs> Everyone's kind of getting seasick, but we're on the set. And then we had to shift this huge company of people to the island of Malta. It's the biggest ship that's ever been built in Malta. It's 180 feet long. But yeah, it's a huge achievement. And we have this infinity tank that looks out into the Mediterranean. And so they built the exterior of the ship in this tank. We want to give the cast the best performance opportunity they can, you know? And so to build it where you can see the water will, you know, help inform the performances and give you a much better movie. He's coming! It's got a massive barge just full of air tanks, which when we fill them with water and air at the same time, make the ship list from, from the port to starboard. Evil is on board. Powerful evil. I wanted the ship to feel dirty and real. It was built with old material to make sure that it felt grounded. It had all the ropes made, all the pulleys made, so it really is sort of endless detail. We had this whole set that we could make our playground, and that scale really does help in creating that world. May God have mercy on us all. I warned you. I warned all you, didn't I? It is a punishment brought down for our sins. Petrovsky, a criminal, Olgarin, gypsy, heathen, a whoremonger, a lecher, and from Gomorrah herself. Oh, will you shut the hell up, you bleeding idiot? Yes, you have the blueprints for the story in the captain's log in the novel, but there is, you don't know what, exactly what you're saying. You don't know what actually happened between those log entries. So that is a huge, vast, wonderful opportunity to create a story about the human beings who are just mentioned as names in the, in the novel and, and tell their, how they are in peril. Because that's what's so wonderful is that you see Dracula from a point of view of just a regular human being, not from the point of view of Van Helsing or somebody who is close to Dracula. To them, he's just this distant monster that just came into their world to destroy it. It is spoken in my village of an evil that lives in the mountains above. Evil? An evil that appears as a man when it wants to hide its true nature. And that night he feeds on the blood of the innocent. The elders, they made bargains for the safety of our people. He, he is the ultimate villain in, in, in fiction and he's pure evil but he's also driven by a very basic need that we all have. I mean, obviously in his particular case, it's about blood, but it can be related, you, it can be, you know, compared to many other things. And I, um, and I found that to be a, such a fascinating aspect to a person who is actually sophisticated and an aristocrat on one side, and then can just turn into this monster uh, and literal, and this is what we aimed at, making him literally a monster. Um, in, uh, you know, when, when, the, when the needs to be that comes up. So, uh, yeah, I find him to be one of, you know, one of the most complex and intriguing characters in, in the world, you know, in, in fiction. We're a doomed crew, Mr. Clement. On a doomed ship. We no longer plot our course. The devil below does. And we all know where he plans to deliver us. To hell, Mr. Clements. It is uh, trying to make, uh, make, this, uh, make Dracula as scary as possible. Because a lot of the Dracula movies that have been in the past have been gothic or they have a sense of romance or they've had all these aspects to them. But to just make Dracula into just pure horror hasn't really been done much before. Um, and at least not for decades. And I just, we just, I just wanted to embrace that opportunity to create a pure, raw horror movie with Dracula at its center. If we can you see what I've seen, then you still want to plan. This ain't Cambridge astronomer. You can't think your way out of this one. This beast. Mark my words, it is a beast. 
deep down I need it to make sense too. I need to know why. It is the way it is, why it does what it does, and then I will remind the beast that it, like the world, has absolutely no hold over me. How did that? And then I want to kill the cursed thing. Yeah, and no, I, I always wanted the evolution. I wanted to follow the story of Dracula, but not show him. That's a really tricky prospect because you, you can't show what you need to t tell. <laughs> so, um, but we, we uh, in the end, he is a very old man who is in us uh, over 400 years old. And I really wanted to see that on him. I wanted to feel his age. I didn't want him to be sexy or, you know, a, a suave kind of version of Dracula at all. I wanted him to be somebody who's lived with this, in this horrific uh, lifestyle that obviously he does. Um, and, uh, and he's frail, he's really desperate for blood. When he loses his blood supply, um, he needs to just, uh, he's in a desperate situation until he's able to kill the first crew member. And I wanted to try to tell that story and how he then, as he gains power, he, he's then able to again uh, gain the power to create, recreate a demon within him, have, have it manifest. And that demon needed to be part bat, part demon, because the bat part of a vampire is really intriguing. And I wanted to make sure, and with the producer, uh, Brad Fisher, he also was a big part of this, creating this with the designers and everybody, um, where everything had to be biological, uh, like the, the way the, the arms are and the way you f the flip, uh, the arm would turn into a, a whole extended um, wing and how the eyes would work and how, how he flies and moves and lands and all that stuff. You know, we were studying bats and bats and bats, so. In the night it drinks our blood. He is here. We call him Dracula. He's coming! Did you see the size of that bloody thing? I want to kill the cursed thing. He is on this ship. Which means that we will never leave it. The devil is real. God have mercy on us all.